Greetings and welcome to Simple Scotch Reviews. We're gonna to try to make this quick hitter a true quick hitter. So first, what is the whiskey? We have Minor Case. It is a sherry finished rye, straight rye whiskey, American. It is from the Limestone Branch Distillery. I had never heard of it, so let's dive on in. I was intrigued by sherry finished rye and it is bottled at 45% ABV. No age statement. Um, when I looked online, it sounds, I mean, I know you can, you have to assume that it's a younger whiskey based off of no age statement, but from my understanding online from people who seem to have information, it is probably close to a minimum age rye. But that being, uh, I guess, balanced a bit with it being sherry cask finished rather than just a standard oak. So let's dive on in. Certainly some alcohol presence on the nose. It's 45%. That's not that high for a rye whiskey, but that being said, for a young one, I expect that to show through a lot more. Certainly getting rye spice on the nose. That's the dominant note. And then there is another fruity quality to it afterwards. But yeah, that alcohol presence is there. Um... And you know, it's all what you're used to. I don't want to get too long winded in this because it's supposed to be a quick hitter, but me as someone that's used to Scotch whiskey, I enjoy other whiskey. Don't get me wrong. Um, but for my norm being Scotch whiskey, um, even higher proof Scotch whiskey, like 50 plus percent ABV, um, I do get the harshness of the nose a lot more. Typically in American whiskeys, part of that being due to, well, how they're aged, but part of it also being due to the fact that um, most scotch is gonna either be older than this, definitely older than this, or it'll have older stock mixed in and it will seem older even in a NAS. But just to preface, cause I know some people who are used to barrel proof bourbon or bourbon in general might be like, or rye, just American whiskey in general, they might be like, there's not a lot of alcohol in there. And it's like, yeah, but coming from scotch, there is, even compared to higher ABV whiskeys. Um, but either way, I still enjoy me some American whiskey. So let's get at it. Yeah, like I said, rye, rye spice with a little fruit, nondescript fruit, no specific fruit jumping out to me. That's kind of the whole nose. Nothing else going on. So where the sherry cask shows up, um, it's not as harsh on the palate as you'd expect a young rye to be, um, especially one. Yeah, I don't know. That sherry cask, I think, if you're gonna do a young rye, I think sherry cask is probably the way to go just to balance that out because I'm still getting the rye spice the sherry cast doesn't cover that but I feel like you can cheat your way through a little aging by using the sherry cask and I I support that over drinking a non-sherry cask young rye but yeah let's just get a little more of that so immediately that rye spice is there you know it's there and then following that that typical rye um, comes some fruit. Again, just like the nose, I can't really pick the fruit apart at all. If I had to guess, I'd say more of those like, maybe like a plum, but yeah. Rye spice and then that layer of fruit. And the rye spice goes away for me as that layer of fruit comes in, but then as the lingering finish, um, I get them both and that just kind of lingers. So overall, very pleasant. Um, I'm a huge fan of sherry cask finish when it comes to whiskey in general. Um, I haven't had that many American whiskeys that are uh, wine finishes like that, but it's been a mixed bag of the ones that I have had. This one's in the good category. Um, but yeah, 
I'm trying to think if I've had another finished rye. I haven't had the Angel's Envy rye yet. I've heard very mixed opinions. And more, I just haven't pulled the trigger on it because there's a lot of other whiskeys to get to. Yeah, rye spice, cherry fruit. If you're a rye and a scotch lover, maybe this is gonna hit your perfection because it's got sherry cask influence, but also the rye. So from that standpoint, I recommend. Um, yeah, this is a good whiskey, good rye. Um, if you're really into rye, I think this is, I still think this is worth getting just to explore if you haven't had much for finished ryes. But um, if you're big into the rye and you don't really like finished ryes, that's what you're getting here. And you can taste the finish. I, look elsewhere if you've had other finished ryes and you just want to go after that rye flavor. But hopefully this review helps if you're on the fence or had never heard of it. Because I understand, which is why I made this channel, that when you walk into the whiskey or liquor store, I call it the whiskey store because I'm generally only buying whiskey. Um, but at the store, there's shelves upon shelves. I know not everyone has that luxury. There's a lot of places that have a small selection. Um, but yeah, there's a lot and not everyone can just say, I'm gonna buy all of these and I haven't even bought all of them. I'm just putting these reviews up to help Help out those who are trying to discern what to spend their next per or spend their money on for their next purchase. Words are hard. Let's just enjoy whiskey. Hopefully this helps and enjoy your whiskey. Like I said, check out the channel. Tons of other reviews. If this helps, thanks for watching.